So my name is Robin Nesbitt. Um, I'm an epidemiologist with Epicentre, uh, or Médecins Sans Frontières. I'm from Canada, I'm from Toronto, um, and I live in Paris now since 2019. Um, I studied biomedical science as a first degree, and then I did a master's of epidemiology, and I just sort of fell in love with epidemiology and the way that um, you can understand the world using this, these methods. Uh, so this, this study that I'm working on now is about um, vaccine effectiveness for hepatitis E in the context of an outbreak in South Sudan. Until now, really, there isn't a vaccine that's used in outbreak response. And so this study is going hand in hand with a public health campaign where the Ministry of Health in South Sudan and MSF are implementing a vaccination campaign for the first time uh, in the context of an outbreak. So the study is put in place to monitor and evaluate this vaccination campaign. Um, and it's really exciting because if it shows what we expect, which is that this vaccine will be effective, um, it means that this vaccine can be used in contexts where it will help prevent morbidity and mortality in the future. So hepatitis E is one of the most common causes of acute viral hepatitis in the world, but because of limited surveillance and testing of hepatitis E, we don't really know the true burden. And so hepatitis E is really interesting because most of, most of the time it's self-limiting. Most of the time people get a bit sick, they, they become jaundiced, but usually they recover. But this is not the case for pregnant women. So in pregnant women, the, the mortality rate can be up to 20%. And it's also related to um, negative pregnancy outcomes, so higher rates of miscarriage, um, stillbirth, and pregnancy loss. So um, it's really a, a disease that affects the most vulnerable. Estimated that there are about 20 million um, infections with hepatitis E yearly, but only about 3 million of those um, are clinically detected and then it's related to about 70,000 deaths per year and about 3,000 stillbirths per year. I think it's a really important study because hepatitis E affects, um, it has a high mortality among pregnant women in situations uh, with poor access to water and sanitation. This vaccine could potentially save, <laughs> save their lives and the lives of their babies and uh, I think that's really important and interesting to be part of. The study will take place in Benchu, which is in um, a town, but there's a, there's a camp, an uh, internally displaced persons camp in Benchu, which is in the unity state of South Sudan. Um, there's about 100,000 people that are living in this camp. I miss uh, my family and friends, of course. Um, and now since I've been living in France, I do miss the pain au chocolat in the morning. <laughs> but um, yeah, the relationships that you make with the people you work with and the communities um, more than makes up for that short term missing some of the comforts of living in France. <laughs> Epicent creates um, a hub of epidemiologists, of people that have a lot of experience. Um, on different subjects. We have experts on whether it's a different disease or a different methodology. And it's just really useful to um, be in contact with these people and have the, the resource there for you when you need it. So it's not really anything specific, but rather access to experts and um, expertise when you need it. I would be really happy if um, the, the study shows that this vaccine is effective and safe.